Okay, so to yeah. look at the contents of this file, we know how that command works now, right? So we can just type the command cat test.txt, and there's the content. So that's how I took the information, the output of one command, the ls command, and put it into the file test.txt. So I just added some text to that file. Now I want to append. I want to add something, not override it. I want to add it. To add it, I can just echo Aaron greater than, greater than, test.txt, and that will append the word Aaron to the end of this file. How can I tell? I can concatenate that file to see the contents of it. And you notice at the very end, I added the word Aaron to it. Now if I don't use the greater than, greater than, like this, And if I use just a single greater than sign, not two of them, it's going to overwrite the test file with the new text. And now you can see my test.txt file only contains the word oops. Huh. Okay, the next thing. So we add a text to a file. Now we want to make a directory and put that new file inside of that directory. So to make a directory, I'm going to use the mkdir space, and I can identify either the absolute path, the actual full path where this directory needs to exist, or I can use the relative path, which I want to create it right here in my home directory. So to create this new directory, I'm going to call it new dir. I can hit enter on this command, and that'll work. Or I can use slash home slash Aaron slash new dir. And that will create a directory called new dir inside of my home directory. Extra credit points. So somebody who can tell me how I can use the absolute path but make it shorter. No, the absolute path. Oh, I can't put the slash in front of it. My bad. Just the tilde, new dir. It's what tilde does. Is tilde shows the exact full home path, and then new directory. So now I do an ls. Dash L, and now I can see my new directory is listed in here. Now I want to move my test.txt file into my new directory. New dir. N E W D I R. So I'm going to move the file test.txt because it's in my current directory where I'm in right now, into the new directory folder. So now I do an ls-l, and the test.txt file is no longer here. Where is it? <coughs> Inside of the new directory. How do I look at the contents of the new directory? ls new directory hit enter and there it is how do i move all of the text files from my current directory into the new dir the wildcard yep so move star txt Or I can do star dot txt, but it have to make sure that it contains a dot. And that dot is an actual ASCII character that it's going to look for. It's not an invisible or special character. And then I'm going to put it into the new dir. Now I'll do an ls dash l, and that a file txt should have disappeared. 
because it got moved into the new directory ls-l newder and there they are my two files are now located inside of my new directory <clears throat> now I have a directory called new directory with two text files in it how do I remove those two text files and the directory itself the rmdir command will only remove empty directories so I want to use the rm space dash r for recursive and an optional one is f so it doesn't prompt me for every single file and then I'm going to identify the directory I want to remove. So remove R for recursive. That means keep going inside of this directory and remove all the files. And then force that to occur without prompting me. Now do an ls-l. And the new directory is now gone. I have removed the directory and all the files that are contained inside of it. Uh, one more little command that was fun is word count. How many words exist inside of a file? Well, I created a little C program here called name. And I want to see all the words that are inside of name. So I'm going to use wc space name.c. And there are nine words in this file. Well, you could do it any file. The hello.c file, word count, hello.c. See that? So my hello.c file only had one word in it, the Aaron Halverson word. One line. 15 characters. Awesome. Okay. So the WC command is nice. Just get some statistical information. You can also use it in conjunction with other commands as well, depending upon the scenario that you're going to be in. Okay. Now, moving on to the directories. A little bit more with files and directories, manipulating them. Um, the copy command. We moved a file. Now let's copy a file. Let's copy all of the hello files. Again, we're going to use a wildcard here. Again, you might not be able to do this because you might not have a directory listing like I do. But I'm going to move all the hello files. I'm sorry, copy them <coughs> into my downloads <coughs> folder. So how do I copy? cp command and cp command identifies the next option here is going to be source and destination h e l l o star so anything that starts with h e l l o space the name of the folder i want to copy them to and that's going to be the downloads folder now i do a directory listing of my downloads folder and i should see them listed in there there's my hello hello and hello and hello again. Do they still exist in my current directory? And yes, they should. They still do exist in there. So that's how I use the copy command. Copy the source file to the destination file or directory. So if I want to copy a file, for example, we had a question about a .old. If I want to modify my hello.c file, but I want to make a backup copy of it, I just copy my hello.c file to another file name called hello.c underscore back, or we'll make a back back, or back to. So we're going to copy the hello.c file, because I'm going to modify it and try to fix it or do something to it. I'm going to copy it to a new file called hello.c underscore back to. 
So now I should have three copies of the hello.c file, all from different dates and times. ls-l, and now I can see I have my back two that I just created on this date, my original backup, and then my original file. So now I can go and modify my hello.c file and manipulate it all I want, still having a backup copy of it. So that's how you make a backup by essentially renaming it or copying it to a new name. Um, other things, link files, hard links and symbolic links or soft links. A hard link is a duplicate directory entry. So you type the command ln space the original name and the link name. This is not always allowed in every single system. So hard links are rarely used unless you're root and you're really making some modifications. So soft links or symbolic links are more often used. So we do a soft link by typing the command ln space dash s to indicate a symbolic link. <coughs> and then it's always source destination. So the original file name and then the link name to create a symbolic link. So I'm going to create a symbolic link inside of my downloads folder that points to my hello C file. So I'm going to do ln-s and the original file is going to be hello.c space and I'm going to create this in my downloads folder, hello.c. Uh, I already have a file in there. I'm going to make it underscore lnk, just so it's a new file. So now if I go into my downloads folder, ls-l, I created a hello link file, and it actually points to the hello c file, but as you can see, this link is pointing to the file hello.c, which is in the downloads folder, right here. So you should really do this command from within the folder so it uses the relative path. So let me remove that file. hello.c underscore lnk and now I'm inside of the downloads folder so now I'm going to link symbolic link to the original file which is back a directory slash hello.c to a file here called hello.c underscore lnk I'm going to do an ls-l to see it. And you see the difference between these two? Here's my original one, which I made from my home directory. And here's the one that I made from inside the downloads folder. Notice this addition showing that the file we should be linking to is the file inside of my home directory and not the file that exists inside of the current directory. So if I cat the hello.c link file, I'm going to see the contents of the hello.c file from my home directory. Just to prove that that's the case, I'm going to modify that file by appending um, hello, hello to that file. Echo, hello, hello, append to the hello.c. So now if I cat the hello C link file, 
I should now see that appended text. Because the file I modified was the hello file inside of my home directory, not the hello C file located in my downloads folder. If I want to see what that looks like. It still has the just the Aaron Hulverson one line, not the hello hello appended to it. So soft links are more likely used than hard links. Um Yes. How would you remove the uh, hello hello world from the file? The I would have to actually edit the file to remove it. Edit. Yep. And a, a good common editor that we've been using in here is VI. Hello.c underscore link. So I'm going to edit the linked file. See how it took me to the correct file? I'm going to go down, hit I to go into insert mode, and then hit the delete key, backspace. So not only this one line, in fact, I'm going to get rid of my last name, just put Aaron in there. Hit escape, shift colon, W to write the information, and Q to quit out of the VI program. And now if I cat hello.c underscore link, I now have only Aaron in there. Again, the vi command, very useful, vi space, hello.c. How do I insert text? I, hit enter, this is a new line. The fox ran I forgot the rest of this saying. Hit escape. Now, one little quick tip on using VI. If there's a whole line I want to get rid of, because the question was, how do I get rid of that last line? While I am not in insert mode, I can tell because if I look down at the bottom of the screen, I'm not in the insert mode. I put my cursor on the line that I want to get rid of and hit the DD key, right? D twice, and it deletes that entire line. So I want to get rid of the top line, DD, and now it's gone. That gets rid of the whole line. So now I want to save this file, shift colon, W, and that writes the file out to disk. So now this is the new contents of the uh, hello.c file in my home directory. And then the quit, it's shift colon Q. And that takes me out. Again, you can combine those together, shift colon WQ to get out of editing that file. I'm going to cat the file, cat, from my home directory, the hello.c file, and there is the fox ran. I forgot the rest of this saying. Are there any other questions from any other commands? I think we pretty much covered the uh, Managing a basic command line, moving around, and managing files and directories. If there are no questions, I'll end it here.